What can you buy for a hundred bucks? A month's worth of takeaway coffees? Four vinyl LPs? Or a DAC? This DAC is from a Californian company called Shit Audio. Yep, that's their name, Shit Audio. It's a dad joker's dream. So brace yourselves. So this piece of shit is called the Modi. And according to Norse mythology, Modi was the son of Thor. And his name means brave. So the shit Modi is just a DAC. Digital in, analog out. So we've got three digital inputs. We've got a spit of coax, Toslink, and a USB, and a second USB here for five volt power. So this USB is for data or power. This one's just for power. Yeah, so you just put digital in and you get analog out. Don't lose your shit just yet because this is not the multi-bit version of the Modi. That's another 150 bucks. This is the $99 version. And to get there, shit have used the AKM4490 Delta Sigma chip because as Jason Stoddard, who's one half of shit, told me at Rocky Mountain this year, the reason for his company's success is that shit's cheap. Not that the chip of choice is the final arbiter of a DAC sound. I mean, the Sabre sound only really exists on hi-fi forums. The output stage and the power supply in a DAC matter just as much, if not more. So this is the Modi box. It's kind of plain, but it's a, you know, it's not an expensive DAC. Inside we've got the manual. And then also the power supply that you use when using Toslink and coaxial inputs is this, like it's basically a phone charger with a USB cable. Um, and that's fine. I mean, this is a $99 DAC. I mean, how many other high-end audio DACs do you know that sell for 99 bucks? And yet, even though this is a $99 DAC, it's made entirely in the USA. So because of its price point, this DAC is likely to appeal to newcomers to audio, people looking to improve the sound of their, well, in my case, a MacBook Pro. Some people will tell you that all DACs sound the same. There's a DAC inside here. This is an external DAC. I'm here to tell you that this external DAC, this, this piece of shit, absolutely walks all over the three and a half mil analog output on the side of this MacBook Pro. There's no contest between the two. This is a fantastic upgrade for any consumer grade computer. I'm feeding this DAC power and data from my MacBook Pro directly into this input here. This is the USB audio and power input. I'm using the supplied cable, but because my MacBook Pro has no USB A sockets like this, I need a USB C adapter and I've got this one from iFi. This is a nine euro adapter. I bought this one because I know the quality is going to be reasonably good because it's from iFi. And this clicks in here like that, USB-C, and it goes straight into my computer like that. So another $99 DAC is the AudioQuest Dragonfly Black. This plugs directly into a USB socket or with the adapter, which we've shown previously. I've been listening to both these DACs for the last few weeks. And I gotta say, I think the shit nails it. It's a bit more robust sounding, there's a bit more punch to the sound, and it's a little bit more detailed than this guy. So if you want best sound, this is it. Although this you can use with your smartphone and take it out and about. Can't do that with this. Good shit. Good shit. So this is the Shanling M0 DAP, but it can also be used as a USB DAC. It's got a USB-C port on the bottom just here. Um, and again, Comparing it to the shit Modi, I think the Shanling etches player outlines more deeply than the shit. 
the shit is a bit more vague in that respect. But again, this, this piece of shit packs a greater punch and feels a bit tonally richer than this Shanling. What about the Dragonfly Red? This sells for 200 bucks, that's twice the cost of the Dragonfly Black, the Shanling M0, and also this shit Modi. Here I think the Dragonfly Red has a more abundant supply of treble refinement, but the shit gives us more weight, more acoustic mass. So just a reminder that the USB input on this piece of shit is micro USB. And that's very much the same as the Chord Mojo. These two DACs sell for very different price points. This one is 600 bucks, this is 100 bucks. The Mojo aces the shit with detail retrieval, soundstage depth, uh, finesse, pretty much every respect, this is the better DAC, apart from one. And that's really on acoustic mass. I still think that this is a meatier sounding DAC. It puts more meat on the bone than this. And that's interesting because with a livelier amplifier like this Rotel here, I think the Shit Modi is a better partner. Price wise, because this is an entry level integrated, but also because the sound of these two together, they balance better than with the, the Mojo and the Rotel. So compared to the Mojo from Chord, the Shit Modi is for people who like a little extra dollop of milk in their coffee so they're not tasting the bean too directly. Some people might say then that this deck is so musical. Mmm, drinkable. This volume knob, so turnable. Absolute nonsense. In choosing a $100 DAC, we really have to ask ourselves, where would we use this? Where am I going to be listening to music? Because if you're gonna be out and about, maybe the Shanling and the AudioQuest are better choices for you. The Shit Modi is for listening at home. And that's where things get really interesting. So a better sounding digital source than a MacBook Pro and definitely than a Raspberry Pi USB output is the Raspberry Pi hatted Digi One from Alo. This is the streamer in its metal case. It's got a spit off output. Comes the spit off on the back of the shit DAC here. Click it over to spit off, and this setup produces some very interesting results. Unbeknownst to our cameraman, who actually owns a Blue Sound node, isn't that right, Olaf? This pairing, did you know? This is the digital source. This is the the DA converter. So a streamer with a DAC. Same as this, not as nice to look at, but this pairing, to me, sounds a lot better than the analog output on this Blue Sound node. It's more transparent. I won't say it sounds truer to source, because I can't possibly know what true to source means. It has that clarity that I don't really get from this. I mean, this is a bit softer, and in comparison to these two together, sounds a bit murkier, and I think this is about 150 bucks. This is 100 bucks as we know, so 250 Ace is this. So a couple of qualifications here. First of all, the Blue Sound Node 2 is an all-in-one product. It's really nicely made. It's got a touchscreen on top. It's got digital outputs as well as analog outputs. This is a very beginner-friendly device. Even though the shit and a low Digi1 streamer sound better, they're still two devices and they need to be connected by 
a spit of cable. Nerd note, I'm not using some crazy expensive spit of cable just because I'm a nerdy audiophile. I'm using something that's price appropriate. This is a $20 spit of cable from a company called Blue Jeans. I recommend them for all sorts of entry level cables if you're a bit unsure about whether they make a difference or not. This one's terminated BNC here and normal coax here. Very stable cable, I've had this one for years, it's fantastic. Right now, some of you might be asking, well, what about the Blue Sound Node 2i? Well, I only have the Blue Sound Node 2. I don't have the 2i, so I can't tell you about how that compares to the two box shit, a low solution behind me. Um, similarly, with other DACs, I mean, if you guys are thinking, well, what about this DAC and what about that DAC? I can only work with what I have, and really, the Shanling and this AudioQuest are the only other two $99 DACs that I have, so that's why they're featured in this review and not other DACs that you might want to hear about. So as, as with everything knocking about, you just have to play the hand that's dealt you, and I've got these two and not others. So what I'm saying is, is that I can only really comment on gear that I've heard myself. Like this iPower switch mode power brick from iFi, designed to be low noise. It's 50 bucks, it's half the price of the shit Modi. It does make an improvement. Is it worth the 50 bucks? Well, being as it's 50% of the cost of Modi, some people may say no, but on the other hand, I can't think of another $150 DAC that would better the Modi with this power supply. Forget about the iFi power supply. Let's just go back to the Modi as a standalone DAC with its own power brick and USB cable at 99 bucks. I don't know of any other DAC that sounds as full and as rich as this for the money. And for 99 bucks, this is some seriously good shit. Cut. <laughs>